everyone, so uh, I got myself a new tent. It's the Eureka Solitaire. It's a one post tent meant for uh, three seasons backpacking tent. I mean, I use it mostly for uh, my cycling trips and everything like that. You know? So I just got it for my birthday uh, last month. So I wanted to set up for the first time before I go camping anywhere, you know, because you always want to make sure, you know, how to set up your tent before you actually go camping, because it could be a very bad nightmare. So I did pull this tent out of my, uh, out of the bag when I first got it. I tried setting it up in my living room because I didn't know exactly what this tent was. <laughs> um, it's not like a dome tent. It's actually like a normal tent, I guess. I, I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna set it up real quick. I'm gonna show you and uh, see you soon. Well, here's the tent all set up. It took about 16 minutes for me to uh, figure it out. Enough to uh, get up, you know, just up enough to uh, show you guys. I'll show you what it looks like up close here. So, this is the back area of the tent. Uh, the fly is attached to the tent itself. Um, whenever I first opened it, it drove me crazy on what the heck that was. But yeah, uh, it's just the rain flies like that, you know. So let me pull up. As you can see, there's mess right here. Uh, it's always not yellow. Like on every single picture I saw of this thing, it looked yellow to me. But it's not yellow, it's always. So, there's that. <laughs> Okay, the front of it, oh, let me tighten you up here, okay, here's the front, ew, oh my, uh, Rika, Solitaire, just like you said, so the fly, like I said, is attached to it, and make sure whenever, if you have this tent, uh, whenever you have the fly, make sure you put the, the front cover over the the pole because if you put the pole up and then try to extend this over it it no <laughs> I almost ripped it on my first try so I'm not going to try that again I'm getting poked by a uh, phone so yeah so what a great thing is that I noticed about this right whenever I was um trying to get over is that you leave the fly attached to the anchor point seal and they use uh, some bungee cord material and that you can attach it to your stake right there and uh, right here you have two bungee cords that way you can have let me get this tripod here settled so that you guys can see what I mean here Tripod's on balance. Okay. So, you have two bungee cords right here that you can attach that way. Then we open it with the Velcro right here. You can unzip it. That way, you can actually let stay open if you want. Or uh, however you want to, you know. So that's pretty cool. Then of course, if you don't want the fly at all, you don't need to have it on. If you, it's like in the summertime, but it's not. It's in winter right now. So yeah. <laughs> I'll be testing this baby out in uh, a couple of weeks, actually. Hopefully. So let me open it up here. Uh-oh. Okay. 
Make sure the fly don't get caught in the zipple whenever you do this. Okay. There it is inside. See, it's nice and cozy in there, it looks like. So, let me try to uh, climb in here real quick. Uh, Well, the sun is right in my eyes, but yeah, uh, there's a tent, very nice and cozy in here. So, the other things are in the tent, or have tooth pockets in here. First off, whenever you are actually setting up the tent, make sure you uh, get the roof nice and secured. That way it won't be dripping down that much. But, as it is right now, it's a very, very nice tent so far. Minus the roof is very low. <laughs> but it's very nice for a, a one person uh, tent. And yeah. I would come get you guys and show you inside, but it's a pain getting in there. <laughs> It was a really pain uh, trying to move around to face you guys, so yeah. yeah. Now of course the bad part about having a uh, single solitary tent is that you have no room for um, setting up in or you know doing stuff inside your tent other than sleeping. 